Alright. This picture illustrates a little bit about how many pieces parts we have here. We have what I'm going to call the intake manifold, a gasket, then the reed block or reed plate, and another gasket that seals that to the crankcase. Then we have our reed pedals, a washer, a tab washer, and the bolt that holds it all together. So we're we're fixing to take all these bolts out here, 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 and get this entire assembly broke loose. We've taken the carburetors loose from these openings here. So we're fixing to break all these bolts. There's about 10 of them, and they're going to be hard to see because they're painted to match the motor. And they are the same size as the carb bolts. Now I'll go over and break one loose just so you can see what I'm breaking loose. But it's these right here. One here, one here, here, here. They're all over. And again, just gonna break them loose. Once you break them, you'll be able to turn them out with your fingers relatively easy or if you are fortunate enough to have air tools you can run them right out but we'll get all those broke loose and we'll get back to it in a minute all right we've got all the bolts out of the intake manifold set up if that's what you want to call it now it too is stuck by gaskets we had to remove the plastic shroud over the flywheel because there's a bracket that comes off these top two bolts that attaches it. Also, I've disconnected a piece of linkage here just to let that free. Now we're going to attempt to get this hardwood in here and pop this loose in the same manner that we did the carbs. There it goes. It's all it takes. A little wrap or two. loosened. Once it's loosened up, there's a couple small hoses. There's an electrical wire that you're going to have to watch for. There it is. That's what we're after right there, the reed pedals. Now we'll start further disassembly and cleaning from here on. <laughs> 